when you add the taxes and the 3.75% payment on $242,000, you have going to be well below the county's AMI for four family households of $115,000. So they're all up to that. The only practical difference, which will be a real difference on paper, is the restriction on resale, right. which I find to be, from a moral point of view, stupid and objectionable. Mm -hmm. But we've agreed to do it for the two units to meet the county's requirement. What it means is that some poor family moves in here, same price as everybody else, basically, sells the thing two years later and makes $30,000, say. This is just my example. Who knows what they'll make or make their roof. The county is going to recapture X percent of that $30,000 and throw it in their affordable housing fund. That's what you get when you put the units in the affordable category legally. What we're trying to do is get homeowners who will stay there. We want to put a deed restriction on that you're going to live there, not rent it out and be an owner-occupant. We're going to sell them all at a number that meets all these requirements. And I'd rather not have a restriction on resale for these people because that might make some people not want them. Why should some person, a young family, move to Peekskill and have us tell them, if you make some money here after taking care of your house for 10 years, we're taking back most of your appreciation. So that is what, you know, that's what this two versus four and all this crap is all about. And I don't, you know, I'm a planner by trade. I don't like the matter at hand. Please. Okay. I want to thank you for that information and clarification. Okay. All right. So we have now before us. I think before, I'd like to suggest that we have a motion. I would like to make a motion that we close the public hearing if there's no other. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Public hearing is closed. Now we need to, I'm not hearing any objections. So we, thinking toward approving this variance. Makes sense. Okay. So I'm going to make, I'm going to, if somebody else wants to make the motion. All right. First, I'll make a motion that the Zoning Board of Appeals deem this area of variance as a type two action under CECRA and no further CECRA action is necessary. I will second. All in favor? Aye. That motion passes. Okay. Madam Chair, I can, I don't have a problem. I'd like to make a motion that we, the ZBA, grant the requested area variance from section 575-17 regarding lot frontage relative to two lots to expire on June 4th, 2017. For a proposed development project, the construction of 16 townhomes on property located in the R6 Central Multiple Residential District. Subject to the conditions as stated in the staff report. I don't know if we need to rehash them in particular. Well, just read them out. Three of them, please. Three conditions. Number one, approval of a final plat plan by the City of Peekskill Planning Commission substantially conforming to the layout presented to this body, the ZBA. Number two, approval of a final plat plan by the City of Peekskill Planning Commission substantially conforming to the layout presented to this body, the ZBA.